Welcome. Today we are going to be looking at crafting about four different versions of the Winchester rifle, trying to determine what's going to give you the best sort of build, the best performance in terms of damage and critical damage. And this is going to be a bit of an exploration. We'll do some testing. We'll look at some of the materials that we're going to use, and we're going to be doing a massive deep dive into everything Winchester rifle. Now, for those of you that do not know, many people consider the Winchester to be the best rifle in the game. It has a higher magazine count of up to 18 rounds from memory. Me personally, I think it's the second best rifle in the game. I prefer the higher damage rifle, which is the Lee Metford rifle. Doing higher damage with a lower magazine count, truly a nasty weapon, but it is a bit of a preference. In another video, we're going to do a good comparison between these two rifles. But for this video, we're just going to be focusing on the Winchester rifle. So I hope you get something out of this. It takes a bit of time, so please consider a like or subscribe if you want to. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. Let's get into it. Starting off with where can you buy the Winchester? You can buy it from the watch. You head to the watch and you go to your left when you enter and speak to the first essence trader there, the miscellaneous trader. You will find it under firearms, Winchester rifle costing 100, T3 essence. The other things you will want is you will want your simple saddle augmentation along with the cannon the cannon gives you access to the winchester rifle the simple saddle adds a critical bonus to your weapons those are the augmentations you'll need but today we're going to craft three different builds we're going to use nadia pursuit and titan's fingernail nadia having the highest range damage pursuit having reasonable high range damage and critical damage and then we have the titan's fingernail which is good for critical damage but also magic power now that comes into play when using the magic bullets like ice fire poison so those are the three different metals we're going to use we might try a few mix and match see what we can come up with now for the wood this is where it'll get a bit more interesting we're going to use the tier 3 fabled eaten wood which has one of the highest critical damage for your woods then we have your tier 3 fabled sear eaten wood this has some of the best range damage movement speed and range rating then we have your classic tier 4 swamp wood great range damage and magic power and then we're also going to do a different version where we have the tier 5 swamp wood because maybe potentially you'll get actually more damage out of tier 5 with the magic bullets so we're just going to quickly run down how we're going to craft the wood because how you craft the wood is particularly important we need to create a handle a handle requires fasteners and a pole so this is where we get to turn the wood into lumber from lumber into gilded where we also get to add ingots then into poles and then into a handle which again we get to add fasteners so more metal so we kind of get to do like a folding or boosting of the wood but without using any of the exploits we're gonna get crafting turning all this wood into lumber now currently i don't think there is too much we can do in terms of boosting the wood from minor cards let me know if that's not the case but as far as i know there's not too much we can do to increase the wood from minor cards so we'll just get go ahead and we'll turn all this into some lumber and while we do that we'll go get fasteners we're also going to throw in another build of advanced hollow metal that having high, some of the highest critical damage of the ingots it'll be another interesting one to add and test out to see which one is going to reign supreme okay so we turned all the wood into lumber now we can kind of have a look at some of the different combinations we could consider so starting with the t3 fabled sear eaten this is more for range damage and range rating but good movement speed as well i do like to use this wood for my shotguns but that's my preference but you can see here we can have a look at the different stats when we start combining some of the other ingots now obviously there's so many ways we could build this and it will depend on what we're looking for in Nadia is probably going to give us the highest damage output. Pursuit is going to give us some critical damage. Titan's fingernail is an interesting one. It's going to give us some critical damage, magic power, and magic resistance. Then we have the hollow metal with the good stealth movement speed and probably the highest critical damage I believe we can get. So unfortunately, we can't go through and test all the different versions of this. But seeing how tier 3 fabled Seer Eaton Wood focuses more on range damage, we're going to use Nadia for this build. We'll grab a few of those. Now we're going to continue that process by going to the poles and we're going to use that gear gilded lumber that we used the tier 3 fabled sear eaton and then nadia and you can see here we have a range rating damage of 50 percent probably be the highest range damage build doesn't necessarily mean the highest damage output but in terms of looking at this specific attribute and nadia and the tier 3 fabled sear eaton wood is going to do the best so we'll craft that and then we'll turn that into a handle now with the handle we get to add the pole that we've just crafted and then we get to add the fastness now again we could chop and change how we want this to go and be built but you can see here we have looking at the advanced hollow could add critical damage here with some good movement speed we can go in nadia which is what we will do with this build which gives us probably the highest damage range we can get 
and a good stealth rating still, good good movement speed. You would could also go your pursuit, giving a bit of a good all rounder critical damage and range damage. Definitely a huge contender in terms of the highest damage or best builds because you have a range damage of 75% in here and a critical damage of 7.5. So it does does do a bit of give and take because you have your movement speed cut in half, your stealth rating cut in half. So it's very much of a preference, but another big contender. But again, we could see some interesting results when we tie in Titan's fingernail, which gives good critical damage damage and magical power so to me in this stage in the process is going to be probably one of the more important areas when crafting weapons because here we can really chop and change and it might it may turn out that the best sort of weapon builds are going to be one that has a variety of different strengths not just pinpointed focused on say critical damage but one that might do well in all scenarios particularly when using and considering that the magic power can affect your damage output of your magic bullets so for the purpose of this test though we're going to go for a pure inania build and compare it against to the other fuel builds of each type of ingots or ore so we'll craft this now next we're going to use the t3 fabled eatin which gives a very good critical damage now what we're going to do with this build is we're going to use the advanced hollow as it's going to give the highest critical damage so we'll craft some of these and we'll turn that into a pole to a handle. Then we're gonna craft the pole. We'll go the gilded lumber that we just cre created. And now we have the option again where we can add all the different types of fasteners. Definitely a few things to consider here that you could really play around with. Advanced hollow giving us the highest critical damage. Inedia adding a nice range damage, stealth rating, movement speed. Pursuit adding the third highest critical damage, adding some range damage, stealth rating. Another good choice. Titan fingernail is quite interesting in this one as it does add magic power, a decent amount of critical damage as well. So so it would be an interesting test and maybe something we can uh, muck around with in another video where we combined mix and match some of these because titan fingernail feels like a good fit with this hollow metal build giving it a more focus on critical damage and magic power but for the purpose of this test we're going to go with critical damage okay so next up we have our swamp wood now many of you love to build your swamp wood with your pursuit as it offers a good range damage and you can add in some critical damage giving it a good all-round sort of build so we'll do that with the pursuit and the tier 3 swamp wood i'm going to craft those into poles now and again now we're up to the handle and we have a few different choices here so we will be going with the pursuit build which has nice critical damage and excellent range damage very good combination and idea could be another interesting choice here giving a high range damage less critical damage but both would offer some magic power hollow metal could be a good choice here because you get reasonable range damage and a very decent critical damage not to mention the movement speed and the stealth rating have a nice increase and again the interesting one being tied to his fingernail adding the magic power 50 percent giving a good critical damage range damage this seems like a really good all-round right here not particularly excelling in any attribute but a good all-rounder the only unfortunate thing is it has no increase on movement speed but something to consider so for this we'll go pursuit now we're going to look at the tier 5 swamp wood so for this one we're going to be building it with the titan's fingernail giving it an interesting high magic power some range damage and some critical damage so we'll craft a few of these next we'll turn those into poles now when looking at the tier 5 swamp wood with the with the other metals definitely get some interesting combinations here the advanced hollow offering some range damage some decent magic power great stealth rating and some nice critical damage and movement speed. Inedia giving a very potent range damage also has a good magic power, high stealth rating, even some critical damage and movement speed. The suit looking like another good choice here too that you can mix and play around with with range damage being reasonable, magic power being great and definitely some great critical damage here. But for this build we will be going the titan's fingernail. Focusing on the highest magical power that we can do with these different uh, woods and ore and also offering quite a good critical damage not too shabby but will lack on the range damage but it's going to be interesting when we test all these out so we'll go ahead and build this okay now we've come to the part where we can go and craft the winchester so here we can mess around with so many different versions and setups it's really there's just so many different variations to this it's in the probably in the hundreds i'm guessing so you have some potential to make some crazy builds here with all the different things that we could select and build so we'll just have a quick look at some of these just for sort of theory crafting and then we'll stick to the builds that we're just going to focus on for this video so what would be interesting is where we sort of combined a bit of everything so we've got some anadia some pursuit some tier 5 swamp wood giving a nice range rating range damage and the critical damage with some magic power we go the seer eaten where we have the highest range damage but we do lose the critical damage but ultimately some very interesting things we could do with this so we could try some titan's fingernail with some anadia giving it a good range damage and some decent magic power we could then throw in a hollow metal to boost up the critical damage at the expense of some magic power or go for a pursuit but so many different ways we could play this now when it comes to doing the very best it's really going 
going to be dependent on your scenarios, but it tends to be going for a critical build, a critical damage build, or a ranged damage build, or one that will be a bit of everything. But for this video, we're going to be sort of focusing on building the highest range damage. So that would be the Anadia build, where we pretty much put everything as Anadia. And for the woods, we're going one with the Seer Eaton, because that will be the highest range damage build that we can get. If you have a look at the different woods, that's the case. Swamp would come in so close, which makes it such a viable option as well, because you do get that extra critical damage but this is also good because you do get a good range rating bit of a toss up here but for the purpose of this build we just go with the tier 3 fabled seer eaten and then just everything else in nadia so next we'll do the advanced hollow and we'll do the complete build of just advanced hollow with the focus of producing the highest critical damage now for if you have a look as we flick through the different wood types the tier 3 fabled eaten wood is going to give us the highest critical damage also gives us a little bit of magic power some range damage some range rating so not not too bad overall but in terms of its damage output it will be interesting to see how much the uh, boost and critical damage will play out after that we're going to focus on the pursuit where we'll just use fleet pursuit build for your classic tier 4 swamp wood now this offers great range damage range rating very reasonable critical damage little even some magic power so a very solid overall build i know a lot of people prefer this build so we'll go ahead and craft that as well and for the last build we're going to be using titan's fingernail not one you might consider for your weapon builds but i think this is going to be a very interesting ore to mix in with your your overall all gun builds mixing in just a little bit or some I think it's going to be interesting to muck around with but for this build we would just go the t5 swamp wood which offers the highest magic power but it also gives some range damage range rating some critical damage even so not a bad overall build but we'll see what the damage output is like but here we go titan's fingernail with the t5 swamp wood now alternatively we could go for a tier 2 fabled bishop which gives a magic power of 35 but doesn't really give any range damage or critical damage so i did exclude that from this but that would give you a magic Magic, that would probably give you the highest magic power output so we've done the four different builds and just having a look at some of the base stats you can see that there's some interesting differences between all the weapons and it's going to be interesting to see how they all perform so now we're going to upgrade these all to t3 and then we're going to go do some testing now, i did forget to mention that i did have the lumber mill card on which gives a boost to all these different stats when we're crafting our weapons so remember to play the lumber mill card or the forge card to give you a nice boost so we're going to go ahead and upgrade all these weapons to tier three and we'll have a look at the stats at the end so looking at the different stats in the final upgraded builds now we haven't added infusions or charms yet but you can see the advanced hollow gives you a gear score of 203 but keep in mind your gear score really doesn't matter in the end game it's only there as a progress gate where you need to get to certain gear level to access certain areas of the game but once you get to end game to the watch it doesn't really matter we're all looking for stats moving on to the anadia which gives the gear score of 211 offering the highest range damage critical damage of 2.4 range rating of 468 pursuit offering a very nice range damage as well with a good increase to your critical damage but it does have a higher magic power too compared to the nadia so it does look like it'll almost appear like the pursuit is going to be the better pick over nadia but nadia having a higher range rating you might want to consider something more tilted for shotguns but i mean it's going to be depending on the scenario then we have the titan's fingernail which does similar to the hollow metal doing bugger all range damage a bit higher critical damage but the magical power is 148 almost doubled compared to all other builds it'll be interesting to see how that performs with magic bullets it may not be anything worthwhile to actually building so that's uh so that's kind of one of the purposes of this test to see if it does make much of a difference so now we're going to look at adding the different infusions the way we're going to do the infusions is we're going to just try add the infusions that are going to push the stats that we've already been focused on with each build a little bit further so we'll start with the anadia build and pursuit build which will basically have the same which will be the clarity infusion the tier 3 clarity infusion giving a 15 percent range boost the range damage so the conveyance infusion tier 3 giving a 15 percent range damage and then we're going to go with the death infusion tier 3 giving a critical damage of 7.5 percent we will do the same for the hollow build that's focused on the critical damage so we will pretty much include the same clarity infusion conveyance and the death infusion for the hollow build advanced hollow metal build so where we're going to try mix it up now i'm not sure if we can actually put this on the titan's fingernail build but we'll give it a try i was thinking we'd add some additional magic then on top of that we might add the critical damage 
and the range damage boost to the Titan's fingernail build. Okay, so first we'll start with the Titan's fingernail. So we'll quickly add the additional magic boost. We'll add the critical damage as well. We'll add the range damage. Then we're just going to go ahead and add all the others to the other builds, that being the clarity, the conveyance, and the death infusion. So just having a quick look at the weapons now that we've added infusion. So what's interesting is that the Titan's fingernail actually reaches a higher gear score of 227 when adding the three infusions, which it ties with the Nadia. Very different stats. Now, it will be interesting with this high magic power. Maybe that's why it gets such a high gear rating. I know Titan's fingernail is a tier is a tier 5 resource, so it would make sense as well. These are both tier 5, so I guess in the end, that would probably be why. So the difference between Pursuit and Nadia, only slightly different, but again, Pursuit having a higher critical damage, Nadia having the higher range damage, and Hollow having the highest critical damage of 4.9, which when you think about that, this definitely won't be doing the most damage. We'll just be doing the test anyway. So for the purpose of this test, we're just going to apply the same charm, the charm of the sniper to each of the weapons, just to keep it as similar as possible for this test. Now the weapons are complete. We've got charm of sniper on all of them, infusions, tier three upgraded. So let's go try and mess around and test these guns out now. So for the purpose of this test, we're also going to bring some nectar with us, which boosts our magic power and critical damage. We're also going to be at the same time using the lunar nectar the magic which also gives some magic power and critical damage increase we're also going to craft some prodigious abramelin potion which is going to give us a higher magic power so we'll try and muck around with that as well so for this test we're going to go to the forest herbarium realm and we're going to try to find one of those places where you can keep spawning the bound and we'll do some testing there so we're just going to have a quick look at the different gun colors so just for the looks of, of it we have the inadia which gives that sort of purplish sort of finish now this is the advanced hollow giving a reddish kind of finish pursuit that class classic green and titan's fingernail looking very similar to the bound sort of a reddish tinnish kind of uh finish we're going to start off with the titan's fingernail now since it's magic we're going to pretty much just be testing it with magic bullets so we'll go with the ice rifle and some of the flames poison bullets so we might just give a test on the fire cartridge titan's fingernail does very much suit this atmosphere though doesn't it with its uh reddish color definitely sits in and fits very well okay so we're going to be testing the fingernail see what kind of damage you can do on extreme now we have the nectars on as well so see how it performs so very nice critical damage now we do have the ice bullets on you can see this performing superbly well for what it is and the damage that it says it does with the nectars on this is definitely a supreme choice we'll do some testing without the nectars as well but just to give you an idea so we can get a critical damage of 9000 if i could if i could uh hit properly 4000 for a body shot so definitely not bad at all now, i'm nearly dead but that's all right so that's the fingernail with ice rounds with the nectars on. So quite a nice output. Now keep in mind the nectars are just doing a bit bit of, uh, I think it's like a 0.4, yeah, a 0.4 boost to critical damage and a 20 point uh, boost to your magic power. So it's something to something noticeable. We didn't have the prodigious potion on, so we'll try it again. Now, that was a bit silly. I didn't actually bring anything uh, to give us health. And you can't see it there, but we do have the uh, magic power boost. So we'll see what that's like this time. Also got the nectars on, so it doesn't seem to give too much of a noticeable boost. But you can see this is on extreme, so we could definitely get away with using this weapon very, very easily. Good critical damage, good range. We can switch the bullets to, say, fire, see what they like. So fire performs very nicely as well. So this is kind of incredible. Now we do have a few things boosting the magic, but this looks like a very good weapon that you could use in the end game. And that's just using Titan's fingernail. Now we'll go on to the hollow metal next. I won't get to test it with all the different bullets just because it's going to take too much time. But just to give you an idea, that's how it performed. So hollow, advanced hollow next. So this is the high critical damage. Has pretty much the same range damage as the Titan's fingernail, but less magic power. So we'll see how it performs. Now we will have the all the uh, different potions on just for the test to keep it all similar i'd like to spend more time on the different weapons but again it just take too much time to show you all the different variations of bullets okay so what do we got here we'll go ice see how it performs so it should be doing quite well on the critical damage i kind of expect it to do more damage but we'll see so 
So higher critical damage there. Seems to definitely do much better with the critical damage. And with all the boosts that we have, uh, kind of a crazy, we could just get uh, some critical shots. We could show it off a bit better. So always a bit harder with these guns with the uh, smoke does definitely hide your there we go we got a critical shot there so definitely a pretty insane critical shot now this is using the magic bullets as well with the ice bullets so we'll just keep it at that but this is going to be another great option to go around and collect all this stuff quickly so we'll just do one more test we'll do it with the fire bullets and we'll make sure we'll have the little bonus to the critical damage and magic but i thought we'd do this test with some of the extra bonuses on So this is with the fire bullets, doing some very nice damage. It almost feels like this does um, AOE damage. It's just uh, hitting quite hard. Very good option though, like this is very, you could use this in uh, extreme levels. So definitely the ice are doing more damage. But a very good option there. So 10,000-ish for the critical damage. Could go a bit higher. But uh, another great choice. So it is it surprising how well they both do. With having magic damage. And using magic bullets. Or the critical damage. So now we'll try the uh, Anadia. And see how that performs. We'll start off with the fire bullet. Since we've got those selected already. Put our magic potion on as well. And we'll give it a go. We'll see how much the critical damage is. And the base damage. Ooh, 15,000 for Anadia. Whoa, ho, okay, so definitely a much higher damage. Definitely can notice that. So some crazy numbers there. 15,000. See if we can get a... Oh, yeah, critical shot. You can almost one-shot your 220 bound, uh, just the basic guys. So that's pretty impressive. Definitely some crazy high damage there. Now with the boost to the critical damage... It's a nice little boost there. Won't make too much of a difference without it, but definitely you would notice it. So we'll try with the ice bullets now. Okay, so with the ice bullets, with the Nadia, give it a few more sh shots. So higher base damage for sure, doing about 5,500. Not too much difference between the fire rounds and the ice rounds. For 30,000 damage on that critical shot. It's the highest we've seen so far. See if we can try to get one more critical. But definitely, this is going to be a much better overall weapon for sure compared to the hollow and to the Titan's uh, fingernail. But pretty impressive. Anadia definitely up there with one of the best builds. It's really going to come down Pursuit or Anadia. That high damage output. Mixing some of these different ones could be interesting. But I still think going for the pure purpose of critical or damage is going to be the best bet. Now Pursuit is the one we'll try next. It has the best sort of balance between uh, critical and range. So a lot of people opt in for the Pursuit build because of that fact. And you'll see it will probably perform quite similar to how the uh, Anadia formed. Let's give it a go. So we've got the ice rounds in right now, so we'll give that a crack, see how it sort of performs. It's uh, higher critical damage percent, if I can hit things. So it's got pretty much a very similar sort of damage output. 38,000, the highest critical damage that we've seen. Blowing some of these guys away. Pretty insane. Let's apologize if the recording's not too smooth. Can't get 60 FPS on this game on extreme settings. Uh, and you can see why. Oh, absolute one shot. Blew them away. What the hell? So with the extra critical damage boost that we're getting from these um, potions, it is turning out to be probably the ultimate build for this uh, rifle. Absolutely insane. We'll try it. We'll flick over to fire rounds and give it a crack. Okay, so fire rounds pursuit with the bonuses from the various different uh, things that we can add. The potions. Some insanely good damage. Very good critical damage. So this is looking probably like the best one to roll with if you can have all the potions. But the others did quite well as well. So it's really going to be a bit of a preference to how you want it. But Anadia and Pursuit looks like hands down they're going to be the sort of the best bet for these kind of rifles. Even with the uh, magic boosts and critical boosts to the other weapons. 
But I will say Pursuit definitely feels the easiest in terms of um, being able to annihilate the enemies quickly. So I would recommend Nadia or Pursuit being some of the best builds for this. And then you can increase these stats further using your Nectars and your Potions. But there you have it. So four different builds, very different outcomes. But the Nadia and Pursuit definitely taking the title there. Now you can be a bit of a preference between what you prefer with your critical or higher damage but it does seem like i would give the gold medal to pursuit for being the very best sort of build you probably will be able to boost these stats a bit further too depending on a few factors but this will give you a good idea of where to start at least anyway i hope that helps and thanks very much for watching i'll catch you next time peace